Okay guys, let me show you an example how can we deal with uh, rotary tracker. What I mean rotary tracker is a tracker which is turning around from east to west and in such case uh, we have to make sure that the tracker will be uh, not behind the sun, the tracker will follow correctly the sun even we have a cloudy days or something like that. And in most cases people have a problem where to set the limit switches and why should I set the limit switches in that or this position. Mm, the most important part is that if you are turning around make sure you not uh, break the cables. That's why you don't have to go too much to north position. I call it this north position, let's say north is zero, uh, 90 is uh, east, uh, 180 is, uh, is uh, south and west side is 270 and uh, what does it mean? Uh, you can imagine that you could just set the, the limit switches in here and here from east to west but I think it's too much. Uh, you, you can just use a little bit more. Not too much, uh, do not you know uh, destroy the cables going around you just you know put a little bit more options for the tracker and in some cases uh, especially in your very north or maybe very south south and then uh, the sun is a little bit behind so you can just put the limit switches in here and in here but not more doesn't it, it doesn't give you anything and uh, let's see this is the typical, typical situation when we have uh, the limit switches in 80 degrees and, and on the other side to 280 degrees and uh, this is the typical position how the tracker should stand should wait for uh, in what position should wait for the next day uh, it's something in between 130, 140 degrees. And why this is the best way? If I know that the sun is going, is starting in here. Uh, it's because you never know what it's gonna happen in the morning next day. So you don't have to wait to the morning. You can just wait in between the morning and the midday. And uh, let's see how this is going on when we are starting the sun. Uh, of course, there is a starter. Uh, there is a lot of uh, shadow or some, something because of tree or, or, or any obstacles. So you are a little bit waiting and then correcting your position only when the sun is strong enough. And then you are, of course, reduce the driver's uh, usage, so they are leaving a little bit more. You can imagine that the tracker is working every single day, so make sure that every single minute is useful, not just, you know, waste your uh, energy or something like that. Then you can just manage the, the sun when it is going on. Uh, it just, you know, in the midday, after midday and then we have a evening and we are waiting where the sun is losing his power and losing 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 and then it just disappeared and if it disappeared you are just you know uh, waiting t1 time because maybe it's just the middle of the day and uh, a lot of clouds and that's why t1 uh, parameter should be as big as possible and and then you just you know confirming that using t7 parameter it doesn't have to be so big you can just you know put a put there uh, 1000 seconds or maybe less and that will be enough but t1 should be as big as possible of course not longer than all the night because you want to be prepared for the next day so <laughs> one uh, once it's it, it should be it should be uh, finished and uh, then if this T1 is finished, T7 is finished, then you can just set back to the standard procedure. And that's all. And you can see that this is the beginning of the day for the tracker. Uh, this is where it should start and this is where it, it should wait for the sun. Not earlier, not later. This is the best option. We have tested very much and I'm sure that 
it will be the best for most of you. Of course, I can imagine a very untypical cutting-edge situation and I'm really wondering about them, just read something about it.